Avid Media Composer Quick Tutorial How to Zoom and Transform In this tutorial we will use 3D Warp, an Avid effect that comes default with Media Composer. First you need to get to your effects palette. I have my effects palette docked here already in my workspace. You can also go up to Tools and navigate to the effects palette or Command-8 for Mac or Control-8 for PC. 3D Warp lives here under Blend. You'll need to click and drag the effect onto your clip. Your clip or track needs to be highlighted or selected. Now turn on Effect Mode by clicking on the icon. You can also click on Effect Editor in the Tools menu. In the Effect Editor there are many things you can do with 3D Warp, but we will focus on the Zoom and Transform functions using position and scaling. 3D Warp works in 3D space, we will start in the position function, here you can use X, Y, and Z values. We will start with the Z value to zoom in and out. You can use the sliders, left or right, or add a numerical value to the function. You can also use scaling to zoom in and out. By default the scaling values are linked together. If you uncheck the fixed aspect box, we can now move the scaling values individually. By moving them one at a time, you can stretch or elongate your image. If we move back down to the position function, adjusting the X value, your image will slide left or right. When moving the Y value, your image will move up and down. You can end here or move on for some more information. Next we will add keyframes and have the position and or scaling animate. You can either add keyframes at the source record window or at the bottom of the effect editor. You need to activate or select each keyframe and adjust the values for an animation to happen between two keyframes. Here is a zoom animation. I will now adjust the keyframes for the animation to move left to right. That's all for now. Thank you.